Hey guys, it is Vivis and welcome back to another video. So, just look at it, man. Just look at it. Completionist. I finally did it, guys. Um, you know, if this is one of the newest videos you're watching and you've been a subscriber for a long time and you missed my last video, I did upload the Road to Completion Escape Episode 4, which was the finale for the Road to Completion Escape series. And I'm loving it. It's so awesome. If you guys are going for the, if you guys are going for the Completion Escape, Please do it. It's awesome. You manage to get a cape like this, and all the effects you get from it as well, like all of the like the um, the teleports of the Arty Farm, the Monastery for Prayer, um, a summoning restore every day, which is fantastic, and you can also customize it. So hopefully, guys, look, I like the look of these colors. You know, I like it. I kind of like the red or maroon with the black and the white. I think it all's an old mate standing in the way, Vazil. Um, he's just, he's just trolling me right here. Um, but you know, this is the first episode of the Prime series. Now, um, I didn't give any sort of hype for this series because it's something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very, very long time. And um, the ultimate goal, I guess, is to make a Prime account. And that's how I got the um, the name, the Prime. So hopefully, you guys enjoy the um, obviously the series, and hopefully, you guys like the name. I kind of came up with it, and I thought it was quite, it was quite catchy, and I'm sticking with. With it because I do like the name. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy the name. But this video is going to be um, showing you a little bit, telling you a little bit about a little bit about the series. Um, so hit that like button if you guys are keen for this um, key for this series, and be sure to check out my Road to Completion Escape episode four if you haven't already. Um, but I'm here right now. I've obviously got some construction gear in my. Um, in my inventory. Now, I was going to wait and do this um, on camera after my herb run because I'm going to do a herb run real quick. Um, but after completing the uh, temple trekking minigame, you get a, you get a construction outfit, I believe. And I didn't actually know this until I looked at some of these um, some of these rewards, which is fantastic. So I'm going to claim one of the construction garbs. I might as well get two of each because you know why not? And it gives me some construction experience. It's free, so um, you know why not? Why wouldn't I take that opportunity? And I'm probably not going to be getting too much construction experience after obviously 99 because my main goal in RuneScape is to obviously have fun, and that's what your goal should be as well. Um, getting experience is like it can be fun to us some extent, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to put my bank pin in. And um, like I was saying, uh, it is fun to some extent to get some uh, experience, obviously, to get, if you want to get a 120 cape, it is very, very uh, fulfilling and very, very rewarding when you achieve that. If I was to get a 120 cape, it would probably be magic and defense, those two, because you can just camp gla uh, glacors, and the experience per hour is absolutely fantastic, so if I was going to get a uh, 120 skill, it would be in one of those two. And I actually, I actually haven't mentioned this yet, um, but a massive, massive thanks to uh, Damn Girl for creating the thumbnail for this series as well. Um, if you didn't catch the thumbnail, I'll be sure to put a video, uh, a picture on screen. It looks, it is very, very nice, a very nice thumbnail. I'm very, very happy with it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it as well. But um, what I'm gonna be doing right now for you guys is doing a little uh, farm run just to show you guys, I guess, um, how I make money because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, <laughs> at the end of the day, um. The point of this series is to get um, the best gear, the best, obviously, the best um, uh, buyable gear, the best non-buyable gear, the best tradable gear, the best non-tradable gear, and I guess focus on getting the best account. And one of those things is obviously the um, the wool cutting outfit, so the lumberjack. I'm going to be after. I'm going to have to do some temple trekking for that. And obviously, I've just picked up the construction outfit, which is absolutely fantastic as well. Um, but the point of this series is to get all the, the non-tradable um, best gear in the way. In the in the game, so I may or may not be going for the black ibis as well because that that's the best uh, thieving outfit in the game. And obviously, I've missed out on the uh, the double pyramid plunder chance weekend, which you can which, you know, which obviously gave more chance of receiving the black ibis. But you know, if you guys think that would be a good idea for me to get the black ibis. I'll be doing that, um, but I'm kind of blabbering on right now. And actually, be actually, before I continue with the farm run as well, um, I'm obviously oh, I just open this up here, and obviously, I've just got a couple of things written down here. I've got obviously ascensions, the power gears, so that's the um, malevolent, the yeah, malevolent, uh, serenic, and tectonic. I've got I've got tectonic, and I've almost almost got full uh, serenic, so I've just got to get malevolent after that. And also, we've got the Three best amulets with some chaotic remnants. If you guys have anything else um, in which you guys think I should get, I'm not going to be going for seismic just yet because they are a little bit out of my price range. I don't want to be spending too much. And um, I'm going to quickly grab my farming gear out. And obviously, I've got my witch doctor. My plan is to get uh, duplicates of the witch doctor as well. Um, so that I think that would be very, 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 very effective and very awesome. And I'm going to be getting all of the player owned ports armor as well. So be sure to look out for that. Uh, I am continuing player own ports, although I've me myself and player own ports doesn't have the strongest relationship in this game after that Reefwalker scroll. Um, if you guys remember that, 
But, you know, nevertheless, I'm going to be going for the... Um, try, going, to, going to go for full Tetsu, full Sea Singers, and full Death Lotus. I remember that, which is awesome. Um, i got to remember what I need. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to quickly put my construction gear up here. But let me know if you guys are excited for this series. And, you know, as the first episode, I'm going to be showing you guys a little a little couple of things. So, firstly, this is going to be my, I guess, the Prime tab. I've just, I'll just name that now. And I've got some next... Some next drops up here, and I'm also going to be doing a lot of farming as well. I want to get around 500 to 1,000 overloads as well. So I'm going to be farming my own uh, torsos, which I've got 374 of at, the, at this stage. Plus, um, I believe I've got uh, 33 here. And, uh, you know, that that's coming along quite nicely just to save me a little bit of money. And, uh, you know, gives me something to do every hour and a half or every two hours or so when I feel like doing it. I've also got 10,000 coal as well. I may or may not liquidize my bank uh, by the second, ep second episode, but I'm going to show you guys my bank as the first stage right now. Um, I'm going to clean it all up for the second episode. And uh, hopefully you guys are going to be jumping on board for this series because it's, it's going to be fantastic. Um, so this this uh, this tab's going to be, you know, it's at the end of the series, it's going to have ascensions in it. It's going to have all, like, the best gear you can get in this game, pretty much. Um, that's That's the main goal. And I'm also going to be doing, I may or may not be doing the uh, Kingdom of Miscellanea, but now I'm just rambling on. So I'm going to give you like a little guide, quote unquote, I guess, like quote unquote guide, um, which is probably what I should have said, on like a farm run or the most effective farm run. And I hope I'm not forgetting something here because that would be really, really embarrassing. Um, I have good ability. I have, I do have an ability bar set up for my farm runs or my herb runs. And I change it to full manual because you don't need revolution for that. And I believe I've got everything. Herbs, this, teleports, explorers, ring, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got everything. I was also, the reason, one of the good things about the completion escape as well is you've obviously got the Ardone farm teleport. And uh, you've unlocked the Lunar Spells to get the um, other two teleports. So I'm going to be showing you guys that now. And I do recommend picking up the green, the Master Green Fingers Aura. I'm not quite sure how many uh, loyalty points that is, but I, it's it's pretty affordable from what I I can remember. Um, but then again, I could be completely wrong. But what I like to do is obviously, oh my juju potion! I'll be right back. Who forgot to change this spell book? I did. Okay, so I should be on the correct spell book now, and I do have my juju farming potion. They're two crucial things when you go on farming runs. If you're on um, if you're on lunas, it does help a ton. But I'm gonna be activating my master green fingers aura as well as oh, I didn't even bring my secateurs. How many fails can you get in one video? There we are. So apparently I'm very, very new to this game, as a lot of you guys know, because I keep forgetting stuff, and I'm pretty new. But let's, hopefully we've got everything now. I really hope we do have everything. I really did think we had everything, but obviously I forgot the magic secretaries, which are obviously very crucial as well when you're doing farming runs. But like I was saying before, this is my, the main setup I use. Um, I don't bring five exact torsal seeds. I just bring ten, just for the heck of it. Um, but I just like to use the wield, the mud stuff, use this, oh gosh, come on, Anna Marie, what you doing? Arnie Marie, my bad. Once I've done that, I like to teleport to the cabbage port and run a little bit north. And a massive tip as well is using your herbs on uh, the tool leprechaun. If you guys haven't known that already, um, you've probably been living living under a rock, but is very, very important, I guess, or very, very um, effective if you use the... Um, Use the herbs on the tool leprechaun because he somehow notes him. He's a bit of a bit of a wizard, Ari. I guess he's a she actually. Look at him. Look at that. That's those are alien eyes, man. And the troll home teleport. Look how much time this saves me. Gosh, yeah. Yeah. How you doing, Fred, Mister Gnome, with your nice little hat on, your little leprechaun? Probably should have brought my Falador shield to get more experience while at the Falador patch. Oh well. Plant the seed. And look at that. No dead herbs. What a champion of a game. Uh, that's kind of alarming. I've got seven Torstal seeds. And if I've got five patches, I've probably missed one or two. So uh, let's hope that, that isn't the case. But I've got 54 Torstal so far, which is quite a lot if you think about it. Um... And I like to farm at the, what's this place called? The Herbal Habitat as well to get some Yujun, uh, Yujun leaves, I think, or Yujun, or grimy Yujuns anyway, Yujun herbs to get me the uh, farming potion, which is obviously right here. So it's kind of like a recycling, I guess. And then all I need to do is catch some marble vines by catching some uh, igneous jidinkos, which will be awesome. And it obviously increases your produce by 
Oh, well, it, it increased. Oh, actually, look at this new update as well. Use your Eugene. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm pretty sure this is the new update. I didn't. I never knew you could do this. Use your Eugene on the tall leprechaun, and you can know herbal habitat herbs. Win. So this is going to be the last um, herb patch here, and hopefully my oh, hopefully my um, hopefully my potion will last because generally. Uh, if you have all the teleports I have, you can make it to the last herb patch really, really easily. But if you just if you have to like run to certain places, like run more than I did in this video, it will probably take a little bit longer. So your um, so your pot may or may not run out. So just be aware of that. This harvest is very, very good. I'm liking it, Jagex. I'm liking it. Look at that, 54 tour stools and 20 Eugene seeds. Let's see how much, uh, 20 Eugene herbs. Let's see how much money I made from this. Or well, let's see how much money I saved, I should say. Five tour stools. Oh my days, look at that. That's that's almost 300k in about five or 10 minutes. And we've also got 20, um, 20 farming potion three. But that's all for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know with a like and stuff. And hopefully you guys are excited for this series. Um, apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one.